Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. I couldn't see the thing ticking then, I wasn't sure if I'd press record. Um, this is a craft and chat. This is not a, a pre-planned, I know what I'm making, here's this thing I'm going to show you. Um, a lot of people who watch me regularly will know that I do, well I think a lot of us, we don't prepare craft, we just come and sit and do it so you a lot of you will know that i'm making this blue journal now what i've discovered along the way is i need some more stuff to put in it um this is my little basket of handmade stuff and as you can see i don't have too much in there for this particular journal what i need is some small stuff and i need some big kind of this size stuff because I think in that very first one there. So we've got things like envelopes, which can you see? You, you need some big in. So I need some more big kind of tags and stuff. ATC cards, journal cards, whatever you want to call them. I need some big stuff, but I've also got some small pockets. So I need some small stuff. So fly by the seat of my pants, girl. You know me. Um, so I'm just going to come on here and... Whatever's on my desk, I'm just going to try and make things for this journal. I've just um, got this because I'm going to make a tag. It's not the thickest card, but then it's got this white bit on. So I folded that, was going to cut it off, but then I thought, well, that can be a flip. Is that right in the right way? Well, it doesn't know. It's that blurry. It doesn't really matter. So that could be a flip. I made a flip the other day. Um, like a, almost a full page flip but then it flipped the same way as the page because of where I'd put the crease and I'm like well that's just like opening another page so I ended up sticking it down and making it a pocket <laughs> that's that. so let's just start making some little bits I have no idea what these little bits are going to be I have no idea really what I'm doing um I just wanted to craft for a bit I'm at the hospital this afternoon uh Oh gosh, yesterday. I had a flat tyre yesterday, um, so I don't even have my car this morning, so I'm going to have to book a taxi and get down to the hospital, but well, that's quite cute, doesn't it? I was going to stick that on a tag the other day. I made a tag. Where is it? They were just there. Oh, it is there. So yesterday I made a, I made a couple of little tags and then I had to go out. Um, I put the lace on that and I was going to put that on it. But obviously you couldn't see the lace then, so I just made that little. It moves, but not for any particular reason. <laughs> so I've made a, two very little tags. Um, but I need some more stuff. And I don't know what stuff to make. My creativity is a bit of a... It's in a bit of a lull at the moment. I think we all go through them phases where... You seem to have tons of ideas or you start playing with something on your desk and then the ideas start coming and you're like, oh, oh, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I can do that. And then other times you just sat there like, I have no idea what to make, what to do. And then I watch people's videos and I'm like, oh, yeah, just little booklets, little tiny tags with cute stuff on. And it doesn't have to be all amazing. That's definitely not amazing. Um so yeah just i'm just i don't know i'm just faffing guys i'm just faffing and you can come along and faff with me get some bits of paper out and just craft and chat um as i say i've got a hospital this afternoon so i am just chilling this morning because yesterday yesterday took an unusual turn that i wasn't expecting and um i'm suffering for it today blow my neck you know when you kid yourself that you're fit and healthy and you're not really? <laughs> so basically, I had a meeting at my mum and dad's care home yesterday morning and I was meeting my brother. So I kind of thought, right, I'm going to set off. I like to set off early. Um, anyway, I set off and I got halfway to the care home. And as I was driving, I could hear this frub, 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 frub. And I'm like... Oh dear, that sounds very much like a flat tyre to me. And it was. 
it was flat. So I dared not drive on it. So I'm thinking, oh, just get to the care home. Just get to the care home. You're going to be late. And I'm like, no, I, I can't. I can't drive on that. It was making a right racket. So I pulled over, rang my brother. I said, are you on the way? He's like, yeah. So can you pick me up? So he came to pick me up. And where I was, I was parked on a street here. And if I walked to there, I'd be on the main road. So he could just pick me up from the main road. Boy, I didn't realise that walk was as long as it was. I'm walking up to this place. I told him I'd meet him and I'm like, wow. I didn't realise it was quite this far. But anyway, um, he picked me up, went to the care home, but he had to go halfway through the meeting because he had another meeting in Wakefield at like one o'clock. So he's like, uh, I can't stay for that. You know, if it, if it runs over, I'll have to go. But he had said that he would take me back to my car because me being me, I'd got out of the car. Um, I was, so my plan for the morning was go to this meeting, see my mum and dad for a bit and then go shopping and come home, chill. I uh, could do a ring in the housing because my shower's not working properly and different stuff. Anyway, I ended up with a flat tyre. Uh, brother took me to the care home. We had the meeting. I visited mum and dad. And then I came out of there and I'm like, oh, OK, what do I do now? Because I can't change a tyre. I think the last time I changed a tyre were in my 20s. I don't even remember what to do. And I haven't got the physical energy to do it. So I'm thinking, what shall I do? Because he was going to drop me back at my car so I could get my shopping bags. And then I could get a taxi to the shop and a taxi home. But I thought, well, I don't know what to do. So I wandered around looking in the shops and the charity shops and what have you. Then I went for some lunch and then for some unknown reason, because I'm bizarre, I guess, but I decided to walk from this town centre back to where my car was. <laughs> Why? I'm thinking, shall I get a taxi? I'm thinking, oh, no, I don't want to get a taxi. It's not really that far and it is all downhill. So I started to walk it. Um, which was fine. I was actually fine. I was getting a bit warm um, and I can't regulate my temperature that good when I get too hot. So by the time I got to the car, I were a bit like, oh my goodness, I kind of sort of need to get home. And I had one of them pressure tyre pump things in the car. So I'm thinking if I can just pump the tyre up, I can go down to the tyre place and get it sorted. Well, the tyre pressure thing is a load of rubbish, is all I can say. Because I was stood there for 10 minutes and it didn't even put a wisp of a fluff in it. <laughs> it honestly, it was useless. I'm like, well, that's no good, is it? So it wasn't putting any air in. I didn't know if I had all the stuff to change a tyre. And as I say, I ain't changed a tyre since I were in my 20s, so I thought there was no chance. So from there, because I was starting to get a bit hot, I got a taxi home and just came home, waited for my son to come home. He went and had a look. There was a spare tyre, but there was no thing to get the nuts off. So, yeah. So my car's still stuck up on the other street and I haven't got my shopping and we didn't have anything in for tea. So my day just didn't go how it was supposed to go yesterday, but never mind. And I'm at the hospital today. But to be fair, I wasn't thinking I was going to go in my car anyway because um, parking in the city centre is incredibly rubbish. So I did just think, no, <laughs> I'm not taking my car. I am going to pay for taxis, which is quite a lot of money, but... I just thought, well, I don't know what, what am I looking for? So much to go in there. Um, yeah, I just thought I'm not, I'm not driving. The parking is probably more stressful than going for the procedure. <laughs> you get in there and you're just like, oh my days. There's one car park at the hospital that I'm going to and it's generally completely full. And I'm I just like, well, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I was going to put some writing paper in there. I may do, but for now I'm just going to move on because that's not exactly the most brilliant thing I've ever made in my life. Um, so I want something big now. I've got this. These colours don't really go in my journal, but I suppose 
I'm just wondering if I can put something, um, we can make it bluey, can't we? Um, I'm wondering if I can put, it's just a bit busy in the background and I'm not sure if what I would like to do to it would look all right. I don't really know why I put this paper on here as a base, because bases, I usually try to keep my bases quite plain so that depending on what I want to do on the journal card or ATC or tag, whatever it is, you know, you can add more decor to it. I don't, this is quite a busy print. I don't quite know why. What's that in there, Is that on there? It really is. Um, yeah, I don't know why I kind of put this print as a, a background. I usually just put a book page or music page or something, something fairly plain so you can dress it up a lot. Um, that looks a bit better. It's the same on the other side. See, I, don't, I might have to put some writing space on there. We'll sort that in a minute. I've got this material here and it is quite cute. Um, it's a bit sewn and a bit ripped because I think it was some scraps that somebody sent me. Um, where's my lid? Let me put my lid on that. Um, I don't know if this will look right on there. No, I don't think it will. Um, okay. Piece of white card then. I've got a piece of white card over there. Oh, no, that's not white. And it's definitely not big enough, so. Um, okay. Just let me find. Um, these aren't really. I want something bigger. I want something bigger. I want something bigger, guys. Bigger, bigger. I've got a piece of white card. I must have loads of white cards somewhere. I'm struggling to find any card at the minute. Oh, hang on, I can use this. What about this? This is a really old um, bit of a music book. Okay, maybe I can use this. I um, maybe don't want it quite that wide. Let me just see. Does this look abnormal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me just whoopsie move that stuff. This things are teetering on this table. Um, I think I don't know if I'd quite like to go with white. And I don't do a lot of white in my journal, but oh, make a decision, so come on. Um, I've got some white bed sheet down there somewhere. I've got oh, not big pieces, no. Well, a small piece will do. Um, I suppose. So I'm thinking this could be a nice little ATC card. I've got a piece of this that's <laughs> not of it straight, but. Oh, well, that adds to the charm, doesn't it, I guess. Um, it's probably going to be quite a bulky thing. Um, I've got that. I've got that. Um, that's quite wide, isn't it? Um, I've also got that. Maybe that there. Maybe cut that in half and I've got this which I love I don't know where this came from and I wish I did um maybe move that over a bit put that down there and then I've got some other little bits here um kind of I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm just... Can you see okay? Yeah. Um, I'm just playing at the moment. That's pretty. That's pretty, pretty. I think that could maybe go on there. That looks like a nice little ATC card to me. Not massively bulky, okay. I think I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to do that. So... Do I need one piece of this? I think I might stick this together, actually, because it's not the thickest um, card. 
and as I say, it's an old um, doodad. <laughs> it's the cover of a music book. So I'll just slap some glue on here. Um, yes, it was a weird old day yesterday and I'm very tired. And I walked all that way and I was so proud of myself because I'm like, I haven't walked that far in ages and I wasn't massively out of breath and I wasn't, you know, I was okay. And I'm like, wow, yay. Um, but then this morning when I got out of bed, my calves were like, what? You're going to walk? Don't be stupid. You can't walk. <laughs> my calves were like, uh-uh. Body says no. <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna taxi into into town today and um i'll have to taxi it back because i think it's about an hour for this thing but um everybody's at work or, well my daughter ain't at work but she's got my grandson today and they're going out for the day so she's not available my son's not available my friend who normally would take me places, she, she hasn't got a car at the minute. So we kind of, um, I'm just like, I'll just taxi it. It's a bit expensive, but I mean, I could go on buses, but I'm not very good with buses and timing of buses. And so, yeah, just get a job back, say. I don't know why I'm framing that side because you're not even going to see it. So we've got this. Um, I don't know if that's a bit wide. Let me have a look at my journal. I have got a big pocket. Oh yeah, it's pretty wide, isn't it? Um, I've got a big pocket in there, which I do need something large for. But I think I might. I like to say I might take that scruffy edge off. I quite like that scruffy edge. I'm going to take it off because it needs to be a bit thinner. Just a bit, not a lot. That might possibly now have, um, no, it's fine. Right, I'm going to stick this down because we know what we're doing now, don't we? <laughs> we think. <laughs> if you believe that, you believe out. Um, so, yeah, so today is a hospital travelling round day. Yesterday was a busy day. I'm out on Wednesday. I'm out on Thursday. I think I'm probably just going to collapse on Friday because I'm not used to doing this much stuff. <laughs> Usually my body just goes, no, I don't think so. So, Oops. so needless to say, we had no shopping yesterday. So we had a takeaway for tea, which is not great. But hey, what can you do? Um, I'm going to pink and shear this, but let me cut a piece off. I don't know how big I need it. I'll probably end up cutting this wrong, but oh, don't you just hate when you can't just cut a straight line? I'm not that it's going to be straight, but sorry if I'm going off camera a bit. Um, right, well, that's really not straight. But it doesn't have to be. It is a junk journal after all. I just want this bit. I don't like that. What's that? A blooming hole in the middle of it. I can cope with the uneven top, but not, not the bottom. Let me cut the bottom a bit because I don't need it that long. Oh, this is not very good. Get the shears in there. Something's tickling my leg. It's my hair. Not that my hair's that long. <laughs> it don't go right down to my legs. It does nearly, nearly go down to my bum, but it don't go down to my legs. It was just a, a loose hair that was annoying me. Right, um, here we go. So, oh, that was the same length as that now, and it was meant to be bigger. Okay, we'll put it that way. Um, now we have to cut that end again. <laughs> oh, no worries, eh? No worries. No worries in junk journal life. You just go with the flow. Whatever your fabric's doing, that's what you're doing. If it, you know. It is junk journal after all. I think sometimes we all get hooked up on everything being so pristine and neat and 
careful it's like well no it's it's a junk journal so yeah i'm trying not to be too precise and head up about you know everything being perfect not that i do make perfect stuff i don't but i, I do kind of try for it to be as neat as possible but it, it doesn't always work and it's like i say it doesn't really matter it is a junk journal so that's a bit frayed we've got what am i doing here i forgot which side's which now none of them look long anymore well that's a bit longer yeah, because I cut that and then said I needed to cut it again, didn't I? So I'm just going to chop up here. I hope I'm doing this right. And we stop moving about. You're just making my life harder by sliding all over the place. Right, there we go. <laughs> Oopsie. Oops, go over there. She is. Right, so I need to glue this down. Here. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. That's fine. I may cover that shortly. I may not. It remains to be seen what happens. So we're only slightly, slightly over that, aren't we? Down to about there, I think. I don't know. I'm just smoothing it out. Just, whoopsie. Because I don't want any um, beads of glue showing through. So that's going that away. Oopsie, not right up there, about there. So yeah, I'm working with fabric, apparently, today. Can you see me all right? There we go. I'm actually not liking that, but I'll sort that. I will sort, what, what am I doing? Seriously. Um, <laughs> okay, what we're next? I, can't, I don't know, Where, where's everything gone? I thought I'd just kind of put it over there. Oh, it's over there. See, I confuse myself. I put things from there to there and then things from there to there. And that's all I do. And then I move them from there to there. What are you doing, Sue? So? so that, I think, would be nice kind of over those two. But then I want this on. Um, so it kind of needs to go there, I think. It's all kind of wonky and weird, but... I'll, I like it. I like it. It's looking okay. It's a bit of a strange ATC card or journal card, whatever you want to call it. But I like that. I'm not sure about you. I may have another use for you in a minute. Punk. Punk. I'm going to ponk that down. Ponk? What the heck kind of a word is that? I'm going to plonk that down there. <laughs> you get some weird and wonderful words with me, don't you? Words you have never heard before in your life. You're like, what's, where's that word from, Sue? Apparently it's from the brain of Sue. I have a language all of my own. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my hair fever's driving me mad at the minute, guys. I don't know if any of you are bad out there, but I am so wheezy every morning. I'm taking my inhalers more than I've taken my inhalers in the last 10 years. It's like, what is going on? Really, really wheezy and, yeah, just rubbish. Right, this little thing, do I want it poking up there as a tab? No, I don't think I do. I think that looks rather silly. Um, I don't know whether to have it down here. But I want some more lacy stuff going on. Um, so let's... Oh, we need scissors again. Let's chop this in half. And we'll, that's not even straight, is it? But anyway, Max Nix. Whatever that means. My friend used to say that. Max Nix. I'm like, well, what? What? Matters not. <laughs> um, I think this needs to go in the middle of here. So put a bit of glue on there. There we go. And it's on the fabric. So that will just 
go into the fabric anyway. So that's on there, rather tatty, scraggy piece. Um, and then I've got this, which is very pretty. You can sit in the middle of there. And what's going on now? I feel like I may just want something down that side and maybe something up there. Maybe a bit of something like that. That takes me tattered edge away though, doesn't it? Hmm. Do I do it? Can you answer me, please? <laughs> I don't know. Um, or do I have it down the side? Oh, it's going in. Well, actually, where I'm thinking it's going, it won't matter if it had it there, to be honest. But I have got some flatter laces. Um, what's this one? This is... This is... Yeah, no. Um, oh, like the, I'm having to move things into places where they don't normally go because I just don't have any room on here. Oh, I've got this bluey one that I dyed, haven't I? No, that doesn't really go at all. I think I want that bow up there, but I also feel like I want a bit of frou-frou, you know, a bit of something. This is, because these are a lot of white on them, I think this is probably too creamy. And then I'm putting a white bow out. I said, just one moment, because I do have this little piece left. I think this is literally all I've got left now. So frou frou and that. Yeah, I like that. We'll go for that. I'm not being fussy today. I just want to make stuff because sometimes you sit there and you're just like, I can't do anything. What is wrong with me? Faffing about with bits of paper, passing them from one side to other and just not actually even doing anything. I'm just like, just crack on and make some of it so it doesn't really matter what it is. Not everything in junk journaling has a function. Some people just make things because they are pretty and nice to look at and they've got stuff going on on them. And I kind of need to remember that it doesn't, it doesn't have to have a function. This has got a function, but it's a journal. Oh, it's a journal card. Yeah, kind of need some journal space on the back then. <clears throat> I suppose you could just write on there, but, you know, with the other writing, it just kind of looks a bit monkey. Um, now then, now then, I've just had an idea. Oh, well, that's the first in a few days. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, I hope I haven't put that to, uh, no, that's fine. Um, I've got a bit of um, this, like, wedding dress stuff. Wedding dress? See, I just make my own words up. Um, <coughs> I'm thinking maybe just for this corner here to cover up the words. Oh, not with them scissors, you're not, so. Okay, let's just chop a bit of that off because that's got sequins, so that's a special one. I gave my wedding dress away to a charity shop, you know, when I moved, not from, to this house to my last house from the house before I, I yeah I just I was in a clearing out get rid of everything we're moving to a new house I don't want to take stuff with me um and I literally I had a bridesmaid dress from my friend's wedding when I were a bridesmaid and my wedding dress and I just give them both to my mum and dad and said just take them to charity shop <gasps> really I so wish I had that wedding dress now because it were full of bits like this with, like, actually, I'll just cut that bit off. Um, sequins all down the, like, front. The bodice was, oh, the bodice was amazing. It were full of embroidery and sequins, and it was just really pretty. I should have kept it. <coughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that now. Um Oh, I've stuck it on my desk. Don't do that, you silly thing. It's not washi tape. What, well, just pull off it? stay permanently stuck there. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going to stick this weird thing here. Not for any reason. Just because it's there. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way. I don't think it really matters, does it? It's only a little ATC card thing. 
Um, so, so yeah, I really wish I'd kept my wedding dress now. Such beautiful, loads of kind of embroidery and pearls and, you know, sequiny bits on it. It was gorgeous, really, when I think about it. It was, you know, years ago. I wouldn't wear it now. Well, obviously, it's a wedding dress, but you know what I mean. Um, I wouldn't choose that now if I was to get married again, which I'm not, never, ever going to do. Um, but, yeah, I just feel like I need some up there. Not the same thing. Or would this would it look okay with the same thing, actually? I kind of think it would. Would it? Or do we just need loads of bits of different stuff? Problem is, a thin white lace... I don't have a lot. Oh, I've got some. Oh, well, that should have gone on the bottom, shouldn't it? Tassel. No, tassel. Don't want tassel. Um, I've got some white lace right in the back somewhere. Ooh, I don't know if find it. What's that? Oh, that's big, massive stuff. Um, I don't have a full reel of white lace somewhere. Oh, can't find it. And I'm right in the back of the drawer. What's that? Oh, I found some things. <laughs> I don't know what's in these drawers right at the back. I did actually tidy it not long ago, but not that you'd know if you saw it. I found this. This might do. Just a bit of this. It's only thin and it's white. Is it white? Yeah, I think so. Do I do that? Or do I go with the other? Or do I just think, no, just be different and have different stuff on there? Yeah, okay, I do. Thanks for answering me, I got that. Cheers. <laughs> Let's stick the bow on. Stick the bow on. Let's get the bow on, So I think, the if I remember rightly, these are bows that I made when I was selling wax melts um, for the boxes, the gift boxes that the wax melts were in. I think I found them in a little packet in my drawer downstairs and I'm like, oh, you can use them. Right, this may or may not be long enough now. Yeah, it is. That's fine. So I'm actually covering this um, pinked edge. Pinked, crimped, what do you call it? Cut. Cut edge. So we get that going down there. Should I stick that bit of frew up there? Um, should I? Cut that bit off and just... Isn't that really random and weird? It is random and weird, no, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's random and weird and I don't care. It's going down because it's on my desk and I might as well use it. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm just going to stick it. Come on now. Stick, 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 and just stick it there. Random. There we go. I'm being random today. Can you get over it? So all I need now for that very pretty little journal card, I think, is just some doodad on the back. I could even maybe, maybe. You see, my thought of covering up the writing originally was... Oh my goodness, will you ever find it under this lot? Um, possibly not. <laughs> possibly, possibly not. Oh my days. Um, yeah, no, I can't find it. It's gone. It was here, but it's gone. Um, I don't know where it's gone. Which is slightly annoying, because I might want it. But anyway, um... Oh, 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 stop it. You're not supposed to come out until I open you. <clears throat> okay, so, um, yes, it's gone. Okay, it's gone. But I was thinking um, a label there to cover that writing. I've got a really nice blue label somewhere in this messy place speaking of labels um do we just have a little tiny one somewhere oh 
that's cute, isn't it? I can't read what the heck that says, and I think it's that whale. Um, one more. Yeah, it was like this. No, it wasn't like this. It was like that one there, but it was bigger and longer, so I thought it could go there. But I do have these. See, I'm going to put that there before I put my glitzy bit. Um, do I want a label? I think I want one there that you've got no chance on them bubbles. Actually, that colour's better. I don't know, I think I'm going to put it down there. Guys, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it today. Oh, do you know, I'm... Oh, where did that go? Um, I'm sat here thinking, oh, what can I have for my dinner? I'm getting a bit peckish now and I feel like I could eat some of that. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to eat or drink. Drink on a hot sunny day like this. I can't drink. I'm like, do you want me to be dehydrated and passing out on you or something? That's going to be awful if I get hot. But anyway, um... Yeah, I can't eat or drink for six hours. Well, it's more than six hours, actually. It's six hours to the procedure, but it's... I think the procedure can take up to an hour. Oh, that's cute. Little butterfly. Um, yeah, the procedure can take up to an hour. And then I've got to get home. So, I can't see me eating till... Maybe about five o'clock. Oh my goodness. I'll be passing out. And I'm sat here thinking, okay, what do I do next? Oh, I'll have a cup of tea and a snack. No, oh, you won't. You're not even allowed a cup of tea. Oh, I can't have a cup of tea. <laughs> That's like serious torture to me, that. It is. It's like torture. Not being able to have a cup of tea is, well, it's just life-threatening, isn't it? <laughs> it's awful <laughs> did i put my little butterfly away it were down here it was sat here wasn't it did i put it away i didn't did i i didn't and i bet i've lost it again is it up here it's not on its spot oh that means it's still on my desk somewhere because i used it to stamp that other thing didn't i what am i doing oh yeah it was here. It was just here. Oh no. The butterfly has flown again. Oh, do you know I'm always doing stupid stuff like that? It's not. It's it's not here, guys. I'll find it. It is on here somewhere because I just used it for that, that last little nonsense thing that I made. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I've got this. This little tiny butterfly sticker. Um, just going, I can peel it off, it's coming but it keeps deciding not to, God it's getting warm, it's getting warm again, please don't be warm, I'm going to be really thirsty, oh I can't get this thing off, am I doing it at the right side, don't go that way does it, no it goes this way, sorry you're having to watch me faff with this, usually well i do say that it works nine times out of ten so this must be the tenth when it's not been that compliant there we go little flutter by down there i think that's quite that's quite pretty i think i like that i don't like this um so i have on here on this desk of mountains of stuff i have some um journal cards somewhere I can see a green one. Oh, that's a bit small <laughs> that's not going to do much is it uh, that's not going to do much I could use that though uh, I can't quite fit the pattern in but it's old and it's vintage and I quite like it have I got some scissors that cut like that? Mm, I don't know. Um, well, I had some the other day and now I can't find them. Are they there? No. Oh, they're here. 
there it's still on my desk okay so i know it's got a crease in the middle but that's fine i just want to chop that bit off that oh this isn't even the same pattern but never mind don't really matter doesn't matter it's all made out of scrap and junk remember i will even save that for something what what well, does not know so i'm just gonna ink oh dauber i've got dauber ink pad oh there's a butterfly stuck on my dauber <laughs> obviously i decided not to use that and just stuck it there and now it's stuck <laughs> there we go got it so let's get some ink around this old piece of paper some very strange noises outside right so we'll get this done <laughs> oh dear me so anyway the care home visit yesterday it went well they are not moving my dad and actually yeah i won't say anymore because it's you know anybody can watch this video is all i'm gonna say but the good news is my dad is not moving into a nursing home so that's brilliant news it was deemed he's not nowhere near that yet so i'm glad because there is a part of you that thinks well maybe it's better if he moves you know might be better looked after he might not he might end up somewhere really horrible and he might end up somewhere really far away so at the minute they live fairly near to me so yeah good news oh gosh glue boggers get away um <clears throat> so yeah he's not moving which was great news great 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 news to hear I'm so glad that the lady who was kind of taking the proceedings, if you like, um, the discussion, there was a social worker, there was a lady from funding, there was the care home manager and there was me and my brother. And I'm kind of glad that the lady that were taking proceedings could kind of see what had happened. Um, what I personally thought. And she saw it and I was like, yeah, she gets it. Good, 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 good. So, you know, this little butterfly that I just found on my thing. Let's stick him down. <laughs> Use up the bits on your desk, they say. Okay, I am. I am using the bits on my desk. I'm just going to stick it there. There we go. I have now achieved a journaling card which is a bit better than the last little thing that I made that is so ridiculously nothingness, I think it might actually go in the thing. <laughs> Where's my butterfly gone? Where is it? If you can see it, let me know. So I've done a journal card. I'm not even going to put a picture of that on. On the, um, I mean, what even is that? That is purely just scrap. Actually, do you know what? It could be a little tab top. It? it's a bit of a big tab top and a bit weird and i didn't stamp that side and now i can't find my butterfly so i have no chance of st stamping i nearly said stumping then i just can't talk these days um anyway i've done that i've done that and i've got them two other little things that i made and i've got whatever that is i think i think it might be a tab top I felt like putting a tab top on a tab top on it then, but I thought, well, if it is a tab top, it doesn't need a tab top, does it? Or should it have a tab top? It might just be a thing I stick on the page. In fact, it could be an altered paper clip. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just something. Now this, this is very green. And my journal isn't green, although it does have bluey, greeny kind of hues. I could use that side and have that as writing because it has actually got lines on it. Um, it's okay, what can we do on here? What, 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 what,
um, I may cut this video and go to another one and we'll decide what we're going to do on here. Do you really want to see me make another ATC card? Or shall I just say, this is done. This is it. This is what I made. But you didn't see me make them. But this is it. That was a long video to make one thing. Well, two, but I don't... I, can you consider that something? Um, yeah, anyway. I shall... I think I shall go. Because um, this is rather a long video. But I will be back with more. See you soon.